All right, guys, welcome back. So this week's haul is going to be a little bit smaller than my previous one. So normally when I think it's going to be a short video, it ends up going like 25 minutes. But <laughs> but I think this will be one of the shorter ones. <laughs> but I uh, picked up a few books when I was picking up my pull list this week. And I also stopped at Half Price Books. But of course, before we do that... We gotta get to our two from the tomb. So normally I don't pick uh, two of the same books from the same series. But I figured this one was like something to talk about. Um, so I'm gonna show you. First up is a Swamp Thing from number one from the Convergence mini, two part mini series. Um, of course we have Len Wein and Kelly Jones with the art, which normally is just the price of admission, I mean, just for the art, but, uh, I basically boycotted, uh, this was back in 2015, I basically boycotted, I bought the Swamp Thing, I bought the, I have a few of the Superman ones, and I think I bought two of the, uh, whatever the bad titles were at the time. But this was, I guess, when they were doing their big move from New York, D.C., that is, uh, to Los Angeles. <laughs> I guess rumor has it now is uh, they're not going to be out in Los Angeles either for too much longer, or at least not in that office. <laughs> but it, you, get, you get the typical... Uh, yeah, you know, Swamp Thing story. <laughs> but with the Kelly Jones art, it's uh, pretty decent of a purchase here. So, I'm gonna flip through some of it. You can just see uh, some of the great artwork in it. The story, what line goes, uh, it's basically a recap of stuff you already know. So, convergent overall the stuff that I did read uh it wasn't worth it <laughs> at all um but there was some hidden gems and I think swamp swamp thing convergence uh swamp thing is one of those hidden gems like I said just alone for the art obviously there's way too many ads in this book <laughs> <laughs> I mean seriously look at that <laughs> four pages and nothing disrupts a story like multiple ads running throughout your uh, comic. Uh, they should go the image route, put them all to the back. But then we leave off with uh, these vampire creatures, you know, surrounding them and stuff like that. So that's issue one. Now. If you're going to buy these just from looking at this stuff, uh, I highly recommend you just buy issue number two. It gives you a whole recap of what could have been said in this many panels, which how happened in this at past issue. <laughs> um, again, uh, get Batman. This was before uh, Bob Finger. Or, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Bill Finger, if not Bob, um, got credited for Batman, so you can see, just credited Bob Kane, but, uh, look, I mean, this, this art just is awesome, it's just typical Kelly Jones, what you're gonna get. And all the ads you could ever want, look at, I mean, look at this. <laughs> But I won't show any more of this, but I just wanted to talk about the convergence. Uh, it was just back then, 2015. I remember going to my shop, and my shop was asking, Hey, what titles you want off that? I ended up buying these two off the rack, and I bought the Batman ones off the rack also. Uh, to be honest with you, I couldn't, I couldn't, if you had a, you know, had my life in danger or anything like that, and I could not tell you what happened in those two Batman titles convergence ones I'd had to look at them again so that's how meaningless they were also the 
saying my, my shop was asking uh, which uh, titles do you want I basically said I'm, I'm taking two months off because basically all I buy is DC for the most part anyways and back then I think I was buying I'm not sure what I was buying I'm, Oh, Daredevil. I was buying Daredevil at the time. That was the only Marvel book. So I was like, a couple of image titles. So it was two months off of no DC. But at that time, I had uh, pretty much... I was looking at my old pull list. Because I used to keep a track of all that stuff. I think I was up to like almost 18... 18 titles of DC Comics. So, But what ended up happening was... It's funny, as soon as Convergence hit... It was like a switch went off in my comics. I almost pinpointed to this, to this uh, event that where my pull list went down. It's been going down ever since. I think I'm down to like six titles now. At one time I had like close to 25. So, but this is where it started. It's funny how two months off, like my, uh, just, just went right down. <laughs> but then you get this one. Yeah, ads, 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 ads. <laughs> but again, if you're a Kelly Jones fan, I highly recommend up picking up both. If you're just a Swamp Thing fan, you want the story, I recommend just picking this one up. But that's my two from the tomb. All the way back from 2015. <laughs> Like I said, it was a small week. I didn't even rebag or board any of these, so I'm just going to look at them the way I am. Got these each for two bucks a piece. Uh, Spectacular Spider-Man, issue number 134. I have part two of this series, and I was like, I knew it was a three-parter. So I figured I'm just going to pick this up. Because the stuff that I have read of Sin Eater, um, I thought it was pretty good. So I think I got a couple of reprints or something like that. But it's, you know, $2 if you're looking for, it's just a reading for me. <laughs> so I found that one for 2 bucks, and I also found part 3. Uh, so now I got the whole story. Because the one, part 2 has Electro on it. Um, but it's just a story I wanted to read, and now I got it. Yeah, I just can't unsee these eyes now. <laughs> I think Eric Larson was uh, going on about it. You can probably look it up on Twitter or something like that. And he was going on about how he would have made this look a little better. And I agree, he made it look a lot better. <laughs> but this is just like throwing me off ever since he pointed it out. Because I never used to... I mean, I've seen this book before a hundred times, but... Uh, Yeah, so now I gotta dig out part two and I'm gonna reread it again so I can reread everything. Alright, next up we got X Men issue 131. With the great even Ethan Van Skyver um, cover. Uh, just, uh, just, this is just awesome. It's funny. <laughs> I probably thought it was. I mean, this is an awesome cover, but uh, you can see down there where he usually has his, he signs it like, a, I guess in a box or something like that. It's like, you know, Tom McFarlane signs, signs his books a certain way, but it's like funny. They just put the barcode right over it, like, <laughs> but yeah, this is, uh, I just, you know, I date Emma Frost. Uh, she was probably the highlight of this series for me. Uh, I enjoyed them reading her a lot uh just a great looking cover so basically with new x-men i don't i'm not trying to collect everything just trying to get the uh covers that i liked so and characters you know if there's a certain story or anything like that but yeah that's just any uh Frost fans, that's a must-have. <laughs> also picked up some trades this past week. Uh, let's see. Picked up uh, Sandman. World's End. 
trade paperback. Been wanting to finish this. Uh, I do have some of the later issues, but I just uh, I just died a long time ago. I was I got some of the uh, first appearance issues, like of uh, Sam and Death, um, a few others, but I wanted to get this whole collection in trade, so I figured I'd uh, better start cracking. <laughs> now, but uh, I got the first five or six volumes. Now I'm just working towards the end. So I picked up uh, World's End and the Kindly ones for 10 bucks each. Well, take it back. 20% off of that. So, um, Yeah. So, you know, 8 bucks a piece. That, that's worth it for me. So now I'm down to... Um, I need Brief Lives... And I need um, the wake. So those are the two left that I need for my Sandman collection. They will have everything in trade. Which is fine for me. Um, like, uh... Hellblazer. I'm not collecting that in trade also. Because I just, you know, I love the series. But I'd rather just have it in a trade instead of collecting all these single issues. Because <laughs> there's a ton of those. So figured I'd do that. Uh, the last trade paperback I picked up. Got this for a steal. <laughs> Poussey. <laughs> Even tells you how to say it on the back here. But uh, I picked this up not knowing what it was until I got home. I figured because the price I paid for it was... 20% off that, so I paid four bucks for this. But then I was like, because I just read some of the eight ball issues. If you watched my video a couple weeks ago, I got a, bunch, a couple of the reprints. So, uh, and this basically reprints uh, some of the stories from those books about young Dan Pousse. <laughs> but yeah. It, I read through the, I looked through the first part of this. I was, I'm going to hold off on reading the whole thing because I'm still missing a couple issues of eight ball and I don't, I want to read it in order. But uh, I thought this was a pretty decent price for, uh, this a good, uh, when I'm finally finished reading it, I could, uh, just pull this out instead of, uh, opening up my single issues. Now we're getting to the, this comics last week's comics this week um I only had two on my pull list so I ended up uh picking up of course Spawn 327 cover of the week uh can't go wrong with that a homage to uh Spider-Man issue number 13 of course from Todd McFarlane's run I think he did another one but I just can't remember what issue it was <laughs> uh Spawn continues to be a great book for the great price that it is. I highly recommend picking it up. Um, if you're not... If you're into like superheroes and stuff like that with a little bit of a horror twist, this will take care of all your needs. You really don't need to buy anything else if that's out on the market now. For three bucks, if you probably blown to a local shop, you might get some kind of discount. Uh, but... So, price for me for this is, um, let's see, $2.55. That's what I pay for this. And it's well worth the money. Speaking of worth the money, leaving off with a banger. Of course, the much anticipated waiting for months, pushbacks, <laughs> paper shortages. We finally get. Trigger Warnings, Red Room by Ed Piscor. You can't, you can't be a, a modern comic fan and <laughs> not be picking this up. Uh, it's just it, total brutal brutality, pushes the envelope, does everything that you want, the comics should be doing, you know. Not playing it safe by any means, you know. 
it's just <laughs> And I love how he did the uh, the color up here in the black and or gray tone or whatever you want to call it down here. Uh, this is just <laughs> this is just out there, and uh, I I just recommend picking it up. It's just. I love the pinup gallery too in the back. It's some of the best stuff here too. <laughs> Just freaking brutal. <laughs> but uh, let's see, is there, I think on the last page was it? There you go. This looks like it's going to be something uh, totally insane. <laughs> so, of course, it's not coming out in January. It's coming out in uh, hopefully April. But, uh, yeah, do yourself a favor. If you don't have this already... Um, they had a trade, there's a Red Room trade paperback if you missed the first four issues, the last one, uh, that's worth the money alone. It's like $23. I'm sure you can get a discount somewhere. But highly recommended. Should be on your pull list. Support. Red Room. <laughs> Alright guys, thanks for watching. Uh, I had to edit that kind of, if you noticed uh, some editing errors towards the middle of this video i had somebody outside <laughs> yelling it was distracting me so uh usually i just go straight through my videos you can tell you know uh unpolished uh, unedited except for today but uh thanks again for watching talk to you next time also check out all the links down below and check out my instagram please